Hello everyone, Philopater here, and welcome to this, my first ever commentary video on Total War Rome 2. In this video, I will be playing on the left side as the Gete, while my friend Blademaster plays on the right as the Army of Pergamum. And what you're going to see is how a line of heavy infantry and proper use of cavalry can help break through the hybrid skirmishing infantry of Pergamum. My main line is going to be six noble swords, backed by three spear warriors, which I'm going to use to protect the rear of my swords from cavalry charges. And then on each flank, I have a spear horseman and a couple of bow horsemen. Blademaster has three picked peltists, very impressive but very expensive units. He has five militia hoplites that he's going to use as a meat shield, and then a main line of seven agima spears. And on each flank, he has two citizen cavalry su for support. Now, this was the first battle I had played against Pergamum, and I didn't realize that Agima Spears actually had javelins. And as soon as I saw them throw their first volley, I just typed, GG, that's it, I can't win. And of course, as soon as he saw my main line of noble swords, he typed, GG, that's it, can't win. We both have a tendency when we're playing each other to think that we're going to lose, and then it ends up uh, dragging down to the last man anyways. So I sent my bow horseman forward to do a little bit of skirmishing. I'm going to try and get off a couple of shots on these picked peltists. And the skirmish AI in Rome 2 is a little wonky, so my men are going to run way too far forward and get some javelins shot at them. And I'm going to trade about six bow horsemen for five peltists. In, you know, a reasonable trade. I can live with it. Now I'm going to simply skirmish backwards with my bow horsemen as his army advances. He has the cavalry superiority, but I'm going to do a few things to negate that. And the first thing I'm going to do is not use my spear horseman in melee with his cavalry. You'll see how that goes. Blademaster's strategy should be pretty apparent. He's going to use a main or a front line of militia hoplites to absorb the charge from my noble swords. Second line of pick peltists and the third line of agima spears will throw javelins at my swords while they're trying to break through the militia hoplites. And now it's simply a matter of skill and chance. Can enough javelins be thrown and enough swords be killed before they break through the hoplites? I'm going to keep my bow horsemen pretty close to my line for now. I don't want them to get charged by my citizen cavalry. Or by his citizen cavalry, excuse me. The bow horsemen have really bad melee stats and almost no charge and actually fighting these citizen cavs, they would get their butts handed to them. Alright, now here comes something interesting. Let's put it in this for now. My spear horsemen are actually going to get a charge off on his militia hoplites. The line is so thin that my spear horsemen are able to break through. And I'm going to follow this up with a charge from my noble sword. And what is going to happen is all of the javelins are now being thrown at the horsemen, and they're not being thrown at the noble swords. And many of my noble swords are able to get into melee, only taking one volley, maybe two volleys of javelins. Whereas without this, this, the sacrifice of the horses, they would have taken many more javelins. I've got my bow horsemen coming around to flank. You'll see what happens with them. Here's a hint. It's going to be a lot of rear shots into his men, and I'm also going to use my bow horsemen to harass his pick peltists. Now remember what I said about the bow horsemen having awful, awful melee stats. Their not job, or their job is not to kill the pick peltists, but to simply distract them. Look at that, a rear charge on pick peltists killed zero of them. But for every second that his peltists are engaging my bow horsemen, they are not throwing javelins at my noble swords. And once my noble swords get into melee, they are going to start cleaning up. Now I have this minor issue with my general. I usually forget about him and let him get killed. I popped headhunt on him. Now I'm going to pop second, second wind so he's fresh again. They're going to get a nice charge into the back of these Agima spears. Maybe. Here they come. And you'll see, even though his men are in square formation, Wherever my noble swords are able to get into melee, they're doing a fantastic job. So here is his general, who is losing decisively. He's only going to last another minute or so. And again, I'm simply using my bow horsemen to harass his peltists. Not kill them, 
not actually stop them, just harass them, prevent them from participating in the mainline engagement where they need to be. So here's another charge on Pick Peltist. They go from 54 men to 53, 52, 51. So about five kills on the charge. Not a whole lot, but now these Peltists are not throwing javelins at my noble swords. These guys are facing the wrong way. These guys are running away. And all he has to hope now is that his Agima Spears can somehow hold out against my noble swords. Here's a hint. They don't. Put up the shield wall! As I said, I let my general get isolated out here on the side. He's gonna get picked apart. But he's gonna put up a pretty good fight in the meantime. Let's see if he can get a beheading in here somewhere. Or, or just a dead general. That works too. As I mentioned, I'm going to use these Spear Warriors to screen away his Citizen Cavalry. Blademaster's really good with getting uh, Light Cavalry rear charges, and he needs to get them in order to defeat the Noble Swords. But, with the Spear Warriors getting in the way, he's going to be forced to change targets and not get the rear charges that he wants, or needs. Okay, so I've got four units of Bowhorsemen ganging up on a Pick Peltist. The Pick Peltist is going to win. But again, they're not participating in the main engagement. And one by one, his infantry units are starting to crumble. Now it's simply a matter of keeping my infantry engaged with the proper targets, ganging up on Agima Spears here, here, and eventually over here, and taking them out one by one. I'll use this Noble Swords to chase away his Peltis, while the rest of my infantry engages and slowly crushes his army. Yeah, let's see if we can get a decent beheading. Or, or a stabbing. Stabbings work too. <laughs> nope, not gonna fight that one. Maybe, maybe somebody? Anybody? Or just some good trash talking. Trash talking works too. Let's see what's happening over here on this side. Somehow, this is bizarre. My spear warriors, <laughs> for a moment, were actually winning against two Agima spears. Not entirely sure how that happened, but. And I do love the beautiful colors on these Dacian shields. Uh, the quality's not particularly good in this video. I'm gonna work on that for the next one. But, just, it, the game is beautiful if you get it to work properly. So. Here comes another cavalry charge. Unfortunately, at this point, it's getting to be too little too late. I think, let's see, they've got a couple of kills off on the charge, but not enough. You know, he needs to start routing units, simply because he's running out of infantry. And as you can see from the timer, he's only got about 30 seconds left. So I'll let this finish out. Great game to my opponent, Blademaster. Him and I have a bit of a friendly rivalry going on, and it's always a blast to play with him. Uh, I hope you've seen his channel if you're checking out mine, but I'll put a link in the description anyways. And in a couple of seconds, we'll go and check out the results screen. Well, the last unit route. All right. My Noble Swords did what they were supposed to do. They got in close and hacked and slashed their way to victory. My Spear Horsemen, while they didn't get a whole bunch of kills, were able to absorb javelins that should have gone for my Noble Swords. Same to be said for the Bow Horsemen. Not a whole lot of kills overall, but an extremely pivotal use of the unit. And you can see where his Agima Spears were able to get their javelins thrown, 106, 123 kills, they did fairly well. But when they were thrust straight into melee, like, say, these poor militia hoplites, they just didn't do so well. And his picked peltists, while they did a great job throwing javelins at bow horsemen, they weren't able to throw the javelins at the high-quality targets like they should have been. So again, great game to my opponent. Uh, I hope, can't wait to play you again sometime. 
I hope you learned something from this video. And